Hey, it's A Mess in the Kitchen with your hosts, Molly Mogren Cat and Dusty Kugler. How's it going? Groovy. You? Awesome. Today, you know what we're talking about? Yeah. Everyone's favorite holiday, but mine. I know. Oh my God, Dusty. I know. Do you know that it's also kind of not my favorite holiday either? This is weird. Well, I know what your favorite holiday is, but mm-hmm. I thought Thanksgiving would be like a close second Mm-mm. for sure. But why don't you tell everyone why you don't like Thanksgiving? Because I have to share my freaking birthday with it sometimes. And everyone would think that would be good. Because like, oh, all your friends are home. You can go out. No. I totally, it doesn't work for me like that. I have to cook everything. I have to clean everything up. I have to set out the leftovers. I mean, I shouldn't say have to. I get to do all those things. But I want to like have my birthday because I'm a birthday person. Yeah, you don't want to be like a Thanksgiving bitch. like No, and I totally am. (laughs) the thanksgiving bitch what is it like every six years or seven years or whatever i don't know but doesn't matter even if it's the day before the day after same shit (laughs) (laughs) back to it yeah so okay so like where do you normally celebrate thanksgiving normally traditionally we switch off between prentice my husband's family and mine now when your kid goes to college everything changes Oh, yeah, because cause, uh, Raph's in her sophomore set. year. Yes. Yeah. So you've got yes. one of these under your so, belt. So, yes. So we've always gone, one year is my family, the next year is Prentice's family. Um, and Do you go to town? Yeah. Well, um, we used to. And then um, as my parents have been, like, getting older, and well, once they retired, they were game for going anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. So they would come up, unless it was crappy weather. If it was crappy weather, nobody wanted to do anything. No. Um, but they usually would come, like, five days before Thanksgiving because you don't want to drive in oh. the rain. Oh, no, I remember. This remember th- yeah, they're like, they, yeah, they'll be like, our, our target date is five days before Thanksgiving, but... Oh, it's going to rain. Oh, it might snow. Oh, whatever. And then they get there like two days before. Yes. Or why don't we just come November 10th and then we don't have to worry about it at all. Um, But so we used to go down to Bloomington, Illinois, where I'm from, or Fergus Falls, Minnesota, where Prentice is from. But once your kid goes to college and they're not in their like hometown Mm -hmm. all the time, it's all about just how we were when we were in college coming home to see your friends. So I had to carefully explain to my parents, because they don't remember, I I was in college forever ago, um, that it's not that they don't want to see you guys and hang out with family, but like those three days are like the greatest three days ever Oh my God, the drunkest three days ever. I know. La, 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 la. I don't need to hear that, but yes. (laughs) So Yeah. um, yeah, that's what we used to do. Now I typically host. And if the weather isn't bad, my parents will come. We always invite Prentice's entire family, who mm-hmm. de- also, depending on the weather, will or won't come. Um, but usually my sister-in-law and her husband. So Kirsten and Kevin and Stone will come over. But typically I host. One time mm-hmm. we went to the Arrowwood Lodge, or I, I'm butchering it. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. It's in Alexandria, or okay. as people up north yeah, call yeah. it, Alec. Uh- and so <laughs> we went there, and it was really right. nice. But didn't feel like Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh. I know. We found out. Um, we went to the Lowell Inn and still water forever ago. Yeah. And I was like, nah. It's not that food wasn't bad. No, totally. Football was on. But we were, like, at a table at a place. You know what I mean? I like yeah. to lay on the couch or the floor, feet on the TV. Yeah. Like. Feet on the TV. Well, if you. I know it. You know what I mean? Like, if yeah. you're laying on the floor, then you can put your feet oh up my on gosh. the TV. That's that how I spent su- my entire childhood. That's super funny. I can picture it perfectly. I used to lay on the coffee table. Yeah, kids are weird. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't do that now. No. And I'd probably yell at my kids for doing it. Probably. Which is sad. But, um, (laughs) yeah, so that's another reason that Thanksgiving is not my fave. Because I'm either working, pissed that it's my birthday and I'm working. Um, I don't get to see my family if it's crappy weather. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or Prentice's family. Like, I don't know. It's like... I like the the extra two days off during the week a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't like Black Friday. Me neither. Like, who does that? One oh time I did it. it I terrible. did it one time, too. It was awful. Yeah, all I Just got was kidding. a throw. <laughs> Mother-in-law. That's who I went with. Oh. But we, I mean, it's fine. We, she, she's not that under it either. We, they have a little sister through 
big brothers, big sisters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she wanted to go shopping. So oh. that's why we went. Okay, I would have gone. Yeah, for sure. Totally. That's worth it. And if my kids were like, I really want to go, I would go once just so they would be like, oh, you're right. This is terrible. Bananas. Well, it's like, I'm going to save 10 bucks. I don't know. I'm not the crazy 3 a.m. -er, so maybe you get great deals. For me, it's like, I don't get enough rest anyway. Why would I get up to go spend money? I agree. When I can have somebody make breakfast for me. <laughs> or go out to breakfast. <laughs> totally. Which is even better the day after Thanksgiving. That's funny, though. So you, okay, so you don't really, you do make the food, mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily like it. Like, is it just the control freak in you that has to host it? Totally. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like, I'm going to work on, Kirsten is offered, and it's not that I don't think Kirsten can do it. Your sister-in-law. Yes. Um, It's not that I don't think she can do it. Oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Drop my notes. Um, <laughs> I, it's I know she can do it. Yeah, I know anybody can do it. I just, I like to host. It's kind of like how I like to put everything in the dishwasher the same way. And I, if it's not in there, I move it. Yeah, I, I can't. You help just myself. like it done your way. And you know what? There's a lot of people who. I mean, you're good at it. I don't bitch about it. And when everyone's there, Except I'm for always today happy. here yeah. on this podcast. Right now, I'm bitching about it. <laughs> <laughs> but um. I probably would not have it any other way because I do like hosting people. I love it. Yeah. But it's Thanksgiving, though. The meal itself, such a job. Oh, my God. Well, why do you have to have 40 things? I agree. I don't. Well, because if you don't have 40 th things, it just like everyone has their thing. It's a tradition. You know, yeah. it's like Thanksgiving doesn't feel like Thanksgiving without, you that, know, that's Betty's true. cranberries. That's what it is in my family. Ooh, who's Betty? Oh, my grandma's best friend. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So here's what's funny is I've actually never hosted Thanksgiving. What? Ever. Does your dad? Uh, No. Wait, who hosts? So in my family, it's either my Uncle Pete, which this is kind of newer. Wow. So within like the past, you know, t like since my grandma died, which yeah. was, I don't know. Oh, my God. When did she die? Like seven years ago? Yep. Um. So it used to be at her house, and now he does it. And he, like, really has a lot of pride in oh, that's cooking. That's fun, though. It's awesome. So he, you know, he does, like, the big green egg kind of thing. He makes, tur like, four different turkeys or something ridiculous. Oh, I want to come Love over. that. And then my mother-in-law is also, like, an oh, yeah. epic Thanksgiving hostess. So I can see that. We're kind of in that, I'm like, in that weird age where I would... Like, in some ways, I would love to start our own family traditions, but we're kind of just in the in betweeny spot where yeah. we didn't. We just show up places. Well, and that's good, especially when you have little kids. It sucks kind of sometimes to mm -hmm. pack everybody up and go, but it is really nice to not have everybody at your house and then, you know, totally. have it all and then put them to bed and then clean up for five hours. So, um, oh I, my God. I, I, that's. It's not my favorite things, or it's not my favorite holiday because of you know the birthday thing and all those other reasons I just bitched about. But <laughs> it is like yeah. it's a it's like the one holiday, even more than Christmas. I think it's the one holiday where everybody seems to like genuinely be happy to be together because you're eating like a ton of food. Well, and there's like not all these other expectations, like right. no gifts, exactly, no gifts, no whatever. Yeah. Um. Plus. People, I got. I don't really care to lo lounge around and watch football, but some people seem to love that. Yeah, I don't mind that. Mm. I'll lounge around and watch something else, but yeah, I, I like. Don't know. The one thing I like a lot about Thanksgiving meal mm -hmm. that we've started to do lately, because my favorite part of Thanksgiving is not the actual meal; it's Same. the second meal, leftovers. Yes. Oh my god, me too. Yeah. Yeah. The, so we the, Thanksgiving can kind of suck it. You well, know? we started. Sorry. So we used to always do two or three o'clock or whatever. Yep. And then I was like, well, I'm not even really hungry at seven o'clock. So when I started hosting, I started. We eat at like between eleven thirty and twelve thirty. Oh yeah. So then that way, full on sandwich slash what slash whatever you have left over at like five, and then you don't feel like absolute dog oh shit, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yes. later because I'm like, oh, I ate my leftovers at five thirty or six instead of like nine thirty when you're mm -hmm. like, I need to have a sandwich. Yes. I should just have a sandwich. No, I'm super on board with that. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Um. So what do you think is the most, is there an overrated? You know what I'm going to say. Oh overrated food? You know what I'm going to say. 
I bet it's the same as mine. What do you? What's yours? Mashed potatoes. Oh no, that's not mine. You know what mine is? It's turkey. Oh, I love it. Eh, really? Kinda. I made a killer one last year. I think that's why. So okay. So what did you do? Okay. So my mom typically here's two turkeys that are my favorite. Okay. Um, I can't remember who. Oh, JP, who works with me, who like is the culinary director at work. He told me the easiest way to do it because I kind of was having anxiety about doing it for the first couple of years. And I was mm-hmm. almost like, I'm just going to go to the store and get it done. Yeah. Like, if I can just get rid of the turkey anxiety, then I can make everything I else. Think, I wouldn't I think be worried about it. turkey anxiety is legit. Like everything yeah. else is stuff you probably maybe make mm-hmm. on the regular. But most people only roast a turkey once a yeah, year. That's and true. And doing that and then having the pressure to make like 40 freaking sides. I know. It's like, a how lot. do you even have the And the space? turkey part is kind of scary because if you mess that up, what are you going to do? Like, you can't even order pizza. Fro- frozen pizza, I guess. Frozen pizza. Have. This but podcast sponsored by Heggies. <laughs> 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 but that's the tough part is like, that's the main thing. So once I figured out how to make like a really good one, then I was like, oh. I totally get this. Okay, so what do you do? I'm going to do it super fast. So okay. mine, rub the entire thing with so much butter. Yep. And then um, some salt and pepper. Super easy. Don't rinse it. People rinse it all the time, which I think is weird. Um, then you have to like pat it dry, and then your sink gets all contaminated. Oh, like, yeah. Yuck. So anyway, I do that. And then, because all of this stuff is going to cook off anyway, if there's any sort of funk on there, it's, yeah. it's going to well, have a t- high enough temperature, it's gone. I'm do you sorry. not brine yours? No. No. Just because it's like a racket? Just because it's like extra work. 100%, it probably works yeah. amazingly. I, I think if I was going to make a turkey, I'd probably try brining it and yeah. then well, like in salt and, and water and whatever. You but. know me. Seriously, you think I could have a bucket of a raw <laughs> turkey in my house? No effing way. Yeah. Like, I'm not just going to walk by the turkey bucket. That's not going to work for me. So that's why I don't brine them. <laughs> turkey bucket. Well, don't you have to immerse it? Well, yeah. yeah. And how about this is even gross. Like, no. I think Andrew said this. Like, he sometimes brines his, Andrew Zimmern, brines his in a cooler. Doesn't that seem like, ah, la, 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 la. Unless it's a disposable cooler. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Okay. So no, you, okay. Back so to you, it. Butter, salt, yep. pepper. Stuff it with, what did I stuff it with last year? Um, like rosemary, thyme, all those kind of like, you know, woody, yeah. yummy If it's sort in the song. Things. Yeah, put it in there. If it's in the song. Parsley, sage. Yes, yes. exactly. Okay. Um, an a- a- apple and orange, and I, then I think like onions. I don't think I did carrots and celery, but I did put it under the roaster. So you have to have the right pan, which is another reason that I never did it right, because I used those disposable pans because I didn't want to clean anything. Uh I just wanted to throw it out. Um, I had a pan. You have to have the... The like call grate it? thing in there, yeah. So it's rack. like a roasting pan with the rack, yeah. Yes. Because you have to have a little I bit of water for in there one for my wedding. Guess how many times I've used it. <laughs> so use it this year. Well, I'm not hosting Thanksgiving. Well, just do it on a Friday night then. Hey. You'd be surprised, actually. And then you put carrots and celery and onions and whatever you want underneath it, so it's like aromaticy sort of stuff. That flavor kind of gets in the mm-hmm. turkey. That's what he told me. Who knows? I believed him because it tasted delicious. And then um, you can either cook it on a high temp for a short amount of time, which is interesting. I was mm-hmm. afraid to do that. Yeah. But yeah. I did the like traditional 325 or whatever at 14 or 13 minutes a pound and cover it for like the first half and then uncover it. It was killer. It was so delish. So good. And then my mom, totally opposite. She covers hers in mayonnaise. Mayo. Yes, I remember you saying that. I did that once. It, yeah, was, it was good. good. Yeah. Yeah. But similar. Mm-hmm. That's, she makes it similar to what I did. And then, uh, but mayo. It was good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I like the other stuff better. Me too. But it wasn't as, um, I wasn't as, for some reason I wasn't as nervous about it. Because I think he told me what to do. And I was like, oh, he's a chef. Yeah. So that helps. It's going to work. And it did. Um, And why don't you like mashed potatoes? Waste Total of space. waste of space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why would I fill my stomach with that? It's like packing peanuts. Yeah, it's just like there. And I get it like, what? It's the best part. Like salty, buttery. No, how about just butter on bread or something? I'd rather have bread. You know me. Oh, see. Chips. Like I don't want mashed potatoes. Yeah, the bread is kind of, that's kind of also overrated for me unless it's those Hawaiian buns. Oh, yeah. Why are those? Those are so good for leftovers. Oh, they probably have like 10 cups of sugar in them. 
Yeah. Who cares? They're so good. I for leftovers. Care. Yes. Because they're yes. squishy. I know. They're so soft. <laughs> like, pick off the roof of your mouth soft. Yes. 100%. <laughs> so weird. So that's what I think. What do you think is the most overrated again? Turkey. Oh, that's right. Sorry. How I did mean, I miss that? I don't we just know. Talked I about just talked like, minutes. Mm. Although, um, yeah, the last couple of years with my uncle making the turkey is like delicious. So, and so, which way did he make it that you liked it the best? Um, I think he smoked it on the green egg. Huh. You know, if I restarted at like two in the morning, oh. probably crack open your first beer. Wow. By the time it's dedication. Hell yeah, it is. That would be fun. I would sleep over. Did you sleep over? No. Oh. But I made been... Josh drive. Well, I also. <laughs> that's the other thing. Do you drink at Thanksgiving? Um. I know. A lot. Because I've never had that exp- – I've never really – like, it's not like my family doesn't drink, but – Well, we don't drink at the – so my parents aren't, like, big drinkers. They never mm-hmm. really have been. So, like, during the meal, we don't really drink. But, um, like, I think we probably made a Bloody Mary before. Yeah. Because my mom would have it a little later. Yep. And Prentice would have a couple beers because we're always watching football. Yep. Um, But my parents have this really interesting house, which Molly knows about, Um, that I'm going to – give a little insight into so this retirement house they build it has one huge bedroom that's what you can use with a retirement home that's different those are like this is a house house yeah this is where they live Mm -hmm. and um are never moving from apparently my dad said um but they have a huge garage the rest of the house doesn't really matter they have this huge garage with a heater a shower what a shower well my dad was in construction so he would come home and my mom would be like like, shower out there yes Oh my Leave God, your dirty so your clothes mom. out there. I know it's fun. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, so we have two a stove. There's an oven. So we were able to do Thanksgiving really well there. But mm-hmm. we always ate in the garage. So the TV's always on out there. We eat in you know big tables. It's yep. super casual. Lots of people would come over and visit. Like everyone after we ate the first time always came to my house to eat the second time mm-hmm. because we had good wine and beers and we were making cocktails but mostly like my mom's cooking was amazing and everyone wanted to eat it the second meal so it was kind of different it was more like a party versus like a traditional thanksgiving thanksgiving at my house and in my parents house was never ever ever formal super casual like same always but really well casual at my family's but then josh's i mean at josh's parents house like like linen napkins yeah yeah yeah, yeah and like his sister likes to go on pinterest and find out you know like cute ways to fold them yeah and i've stuff. never done that i've never done that i think well, it'd be kind of but... cool but i've yeah. never experienced that i mine's super casual so yes we drink at thanksgiving <laughs> i don't know I, I feel like everyone's like secretly drunk at my family's thanksgiving really? like sneaking beers or like <laughs> you know what i mean not not just like chugging wine or whatever, chugging white zin at the table yeah why not <laughs> i don't know <laughs> well there's also like how many people at yours like 100 yeah. and then like 45 that is it's a massive. lot of people that's so fun though it is fun that's so fun yeah it's just now that my sister's gone it's just me my kids my husband and my parents that's it and then people come over afterwards but like you know smaller family we never had like a huge huge thanksgiving but it was always fun um so let's talk. Can we talk more like side dishes and things? Because mm-hmm. are you a gravy person? I am a gravy person. I love it. I don't like making it. Oh, I made it for the first time literally two weeks ago. Oh, did, was it good? Yeah, it was okay. It is kind of a weird thing. I know. It's just stuff, right? It's just, it's stuff. just like, <laughs> you got, there's not, it's not like, I don't know. It's good to dip stuff in it. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been much of a gravy person, so. I like it on sandwiches, I would say. You know, like if you mm-hmm. redo stuff, but I don't like mashed potatoes, so. Right. Oh, I keep doing that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dusty keeps dropping her notes. I don't even need them, so why I, am I it's true. on to I know. I've, I did all the work. You did. I'm like the Thanksgiving usual. bitch of this episode. Yes. <laughs> You are. You've got all the info. Yeah, you're making this really easy because I'm just an- answering questions. Um. Okay, so, yeah, I, like, have zero go-to gravy recipe. Oh. I, like, I don't know. But it was good. So where'd you make it out of? Um. So I made it. It was for a recipe with – it was not Thanksgiving related. It was yeah. just, like, these um, meatballs that I made. Um. And I, yeah, I just had, like, some – they're pork – 
So mm-hmm. there was some fat and stuff left in the pan, and I added some broth and arrowroot powder, which was oh. it was because I'm doing like I was doing like a whole thirty kind of thing, so cornstarch wasn't mm-hmm. an option, but it kind of works the exact same way. So I just mixed those together and let it cook down with mm. a little salt and stuff. It was so not was milk good. gravy, but like mm-hmm. yeah, okay. Yeah, wait, do you do the milk gravy with, like, the peppery flecks in it? Some It just depends. Sometimes. Yeah. Now, that I can make. Yeah. The other kind is, like, intimidating to me. Oh. Like, I, I that was, like, one of my worst things. I had two bad cooking experiences, like, really bad. One was a tuna melt. I'm not even going to go there. And the <laughs> other one was gravy. <laughs> what happened? There, um, It just, like, no matter what I did, it was inedible. And I kept adding things, oh, and then yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. you know, try something else, and try. It was just nasty, and it, it just, just kept nasty. getting worse and worse. Yeah, so it's just that's an intimidating thing for me is gravy. It seems so simple, but it isn't. The white gravy is different because that's like biscuits and gravy, gravy. Yeah, you know, or you can put it on, like if you fry pork chops, you can make it out of the little yeah. sticky meat stuff. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, mm. but like. Gravy, gravy. Mm-mm. Well, I guess I made gravy, gravy, and I thought it was kind of easy. But see, you get you get psyched out of things, yeah, super probably. easily. Probably. I but mean, not you specifically. I think we all do. So, what other sides do you guys traditionally have? Okay, so now I got in major trouble for this. Mm, um, from I who? was on. I was on some uh, on a radio show, mm. and was a guest host on a Thanksgiving podcast. And I basically made it seem like I have like the most like white trash family based on what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Why? Okay. Repeat what you said because I want to know. Because I was like, we just have the canned sweet potatoes, which is true with like uh, marshmallows, marshmallows on, yeah. on them. And then like stovetop stuffing and cans of, of cranberries. Okay. Well, I got schooled. A lot of people do that. Well, totally. But the thing is, I later learned that actually for Thanksgiving, the the, the stuffing is made from scratch. Oh. So. Shame whoops. on you. I know. But then, like, I think I got that mixed up with uh, the kajillion other family dinners. Yes. You guys have a big family. So yeah. you do a lot of stuff. So, like, stovetop was probably a part of those. But who was who was mad about it? Oh, like, the people who actually make the food oh. for and then my my uncle Brian, who doesn't make the food oh. except for he does make one thing. This is like the thing for Jell-O. my fa- Jello. No, 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 it isn't Jello. Though Watergate salad is definitely a thing. Wait, that is what? Do you know Watergate salad? No. Okay. Well, we call it green fluff. Ooh, I know. So it's got Jello in it. Um, marshmallows. It's got whipping cream. Um, cool Whip. Mm. which is not whipping cream cool whip i think it has with lettuce Uh uh-uh oh i think it has crushed pineapple oh cool whip maybe like a pistachio pudding and then it's topped with maraschino cherries oh my it's all like whipped up and i'm gonna be quiet because i don't want to get in trouble oh for sure i mean this is not a thing that i like like it's always at every family like someone's like i'll bring the green fluff (laughs) i've never even heard of it i know what it is i'm always just like Ooh. do you eat it um i'll have a bite but do your kids eat it no they have not i don't think so i mean uh, is it josh? mac and cheese yeah no, no my kids won't <laughs> eat it um josh <laughs> will probably have a bite of it mm. but it's definitely like a throwback 50s and 60s kind of thing yeah i can see that yeah i mean i can imagine it that's not Wait. anything i would come near okay so but the- i don't like cool whip you know that well i don't either or Ew. pudding. I'd rather eat a shoe than pudding. <laughs> I would. Pudding to me is like, who came up with that? It is nasty. Ugh. Yeah, I I mean. It's like eating a banana and then just squishing it through your teeth a million times. <laughs> That's what pudding is to me. Ugh. I don't mind it, but Yikes. it make, reminds me of like being sick as a kid or something. Oh, yeah. With yeah. the hospital food. Yeah, it is that. hospital food. Mm, yeah, I get it. Delicious. Never liked it. Um. So our big thing with our family is... My grandma Arlene's best friend, Betty Jordan, oh, always yeah. made cranberries from scratch. Mm, and they're good? Oh, my God. They're so good. Ooh. Yeah. I'll have to find the recipe and I'll put yeah. it on the, You'll have to like, share the, the show recipe, notes. But like, I would like to make that. Because, well, here's the best part, is that my 
Uncle Brian usually spearheads him and my Uncle Whitey, maybe. Yeah, they like, make it. Yeah, they'll make, and they make a crap ton of them. So, like, we'll have cranberries year round. Ooh, really? That's a lot. I know. Well, you don't need a lot of it. No, you don't. You just it's have like a little. Somebody I feel like you just kind of, it. it's sort of like, oh, I know you do this. Okay, McDonald's, Egg McMuffin. When you put a little smear of grape jelly, grape jelly on it, yeah, yeah totally. it's like best hungover food ever. Yes, so that's kind of how I feel about about oh. the cranberries. Where mm-hmm. I like that's With like the grape salty. jelly yeah. of Thanksgiving for me. I get it. Yeah, I get it. The one thing that I don't make mm-hmm. that is similar to that is funny. That is um, Prentice's uncle Perry and his wife Janet make this like cranberry chutney stuff. Oh, which typically I would be like orange in it. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it's like orange rind Mm -hmm. and cranberries that they, you know, boil, like make it from scratch, too. And then it's got some weird stuff in it, but it's good. Like it has celery in it. That sounds super weird. Nope, that sounds so good. And walnuts, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And it's typically something that I'm like, "Mm, it's damn good it's got ginger and it's so good i it's sort of like don't ask too many questions just eat it it was it's really yeah it's tasty it's one of my favorite things so i can get that recipe too because it seems a little weird but it's really delicious at least there's not like a can of coke in it or something no. or peanuts no i don't know no <laughs> No. I feel like Thanksgiving <laughs> is when all the freaky jello like what the f is this things yeah. come out. We do my mom make um my mom makes corn uh, scalloped corn. What's that? So that's something weird that most people who come to our house always want the second meal because they never get it at their house. Yeah. So I always had it at my house cuz it's my dad's favorite thing that my mom mm-hmm. makes. It's basically cream corn, like uh-huh. canned cream corn. Yep, yep. Um sugar like okay. a full sleeve of saltines. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Milk. Mm-hmm. And then you, like, mix it all together and bake it. So it's kind of like a corn casserole sort of thing. Have you made this before? No, I've or? made the corn casserole that yes, has, okay. like, cornbread in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No, this is different. Um, It's kind of runny, mm-hmm. but everyone goes apeshit over it. <laughs> it sounds kind of like. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. scalloped, and she calls it scalloped corn. Mm. Yeah, it's a winner at the Eiler household. Yeah, it sounds. Oh, that sounds delicious. Actually, mm-hmm. by the way, stuffing. Do you put yours in the bird? You make it separate. Never in the bird. Right. Because if you make it in there, you really shouldn't eat it. <laughs> I mean, talk about getting sick. Yuck. Do you? I mean, I don't know. I've never. Mm-mm. No. I've stuff never... that with vegetables and shit. You're never gonna eat. Yeah. Uh, the parsley, sage, <laughs> rosemary. And um. Stuff. And I will say, as you were talking about the stuffing, mm-hmm. I'm guilty. Stove top? Always cornbread. Oh, cornbread. Cornbread stuffing. Always. <laughs> because that to me, kind of like the gravy, why even mess with it? Like that is freaking awesome, super salty, and everybody likes it. Why yeah. would I do anything but that? I'm a cheater. Yeah. I can't help it. There are certain things I'm just not going to do. That's one of them. My mom makes some killer stuffing, and I watch her. It takes all day. Yeah. I'm like, not going to do it. Do you want to hear a major dick move? Mm, yes. Uh-huh. Okay, so my mother-in-law also makes stuffing from scratch, and every Thanksgiving she makes a special thing of stovetop for her stupid kids, my oh. husband. That You'll do that, too. I know, but I'm like, what kind of... Why like, doesn't she just go with the easy one? What do you mean? Why well, because she, she likes... Other? She likes... Oh, she just, likes the yeah, other Yeah, and it's oh. just the kids that are like... We don't like your delicious <laughs> homemade stuffing. Just add water to like a bunch of crumbs in a box. It's totally That's what, what we it want. Is. I know it's crumbs and salt. Crumbs and salt, just like that bottom of cereal boxes yeah. or something. And oh. all you have to do is broil it for like three minutes, and everyone's like, "That is the best stuffing I've ever had." I'm like, "Thank you, Betty Crocker, whoever yeah, makes whoever. it." <laughs> it's sort like, of what like, is it? Stove top. Who makes? I that? don't know. Whatever big food company makes it, thank you. <laughs> I don't know who it is. You can sponsor the show, though. Yes. Um, <laughs> Why okay. not? Okay. Dessert. Mm. What do you do? Um, what do we have? Almost always a pumpkin pie. Yep. And pecan pie. Yes. Um, pecan one pie year is we did, but I don't like pie. I you don't? I don't like pie crust. Oh, I love pie crust. Well, I don't like pumpkin pie. That's also like so incredibly close to pudding. No, you're right. It mm-hmm. is. Yep. Yep. So the pecan pie I like, except for that weird stuff in the middle, also kind of like pudding. Yeah. What is it? It's like gritty and like. Yeah. Nope. 
not go in there. So I like to make apple crisp, but oh, um, mm-hmm. it's always too much. So I kind of just personally skip the dessert. Everybody else eats the dessert. I just don't eat it. And then I have more food. That's what I do for dessert. Yeah. Okay. So I like pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. I think most people do. Yeah. But here's the deal. I made it once from scratch because I thought I was going to be awesome. You know, I'm like, ooh, look at me winning Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, It was so bad. Really? Well, here's what, it, first of all, what I learned. I mean, I made it from you scratch. You made it from meaning, the pumpkin? Like oh, yeah. Oh, not, wow. not like a like That's trick aggressive. or treat. Not like that. Yeah. I made it from like the a pumpkin that you, whatever. Right. A pie pumpkin. Okay. A pu- yeah. But the problem is that most pumpkin pie, like that you get in a can, is actually a variety of squash, like oh. different kinds. So it's not even the same thing. I gotcha. So it tasted different. Yeah. It tasted like, imagine... The texture of pumpkin pie, but the flavor of air. Nope. Yeah, it was. You got me at the texture, remember? I know. So. But I, yeah, I like made it, you know, it took for freaking ever. And then oh, I was like, that's... then it just sat at Thanksgiving like <laughs> no a one, one piece gone. I was like, <laughs> damn it. Did the Baker Square pie, pie get eaten? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my recommendation is just go to Costco. Or oh, yeah, any those sort are of massive. Oh my god, they're so big. Just don't even bother. No, don't even bother trying to make your own well, yeah, they dessert know unless doing. you're like a dessert person. Yeah, like Josh's um, mom's best friend makes a pumpkin pie cheesecake every oh, yeah. year. That would be good, I think. Yeah, yeah. Some people are. You know me. I'm a buyer, not a baker. Mm-hmm. Just what do not you, my thing. What do you farm out for Thanksgiving? Um, well, remember I thought about doing the turkey. Yep. Um, what do I farm out? So what do I have people or like bring? Have people bring or you buy somewhere? Um, so dessert. Mm-hmm. If I'm hosting dessert, gravy <laughs> <laughs> and the cornbread Where do stuffing. You, get, well, you, you know just what have I mean? Somebody else make the gravy. I either have somebody make the gravy like, um, Prentice's mom is really good at making gravy. Mm-hmm. And so and then canning it and then saving it yes. and bringing it to your house two years later. Exactly. Okay. I probably still have some meatballs <laughs> in my basement in a jar that have got some gravy in them. Um, so I don't like to do those things. Mm-hmm. And then I cheat on the stuffing because the, I do the stove top and then, mm-hmm. um, I have a lot of people. So what we typically do is because we're eating earlier, mm-hmm. I like people to bring like fruit and like yeah. a veggie tray like sort of thing. Like, yeah. Thing. And yeah. then um, cheese and crackers and things that we'll eat later. Mm-hmm. And so that's typically what I have people bring. Because I don't, even though there's like a billion sides, we've sort of like come, we've sort of narrowed it down to like turkey, mashed potatoes and gravy. Always green bean casserole. Mm-hmm. With the crispy Always. onions. I like that. Always. So Kelly, my our dear friend Kelly, gave me an awesome recipe a few years ago of like not using anything canned. Mm. And it was killer. So to my dad's m- dismay, he did like it. But he was like, where are the canned green beans? Um, he know, did like it, but it was with... really good. So that's a good impressor. So okay. if you want to go to, if somebody's like, bring a side, I'll, I can also give you that recipe. But it was killer like the flavor was so different it, you didn't have the like alumini yeah sort of flavor yeah. you kind of get it i don't care i like casseroles whatever but yeah, they all have the same thing cream of mushroom cream of chicken whatever and this kind of made it uh, bechamel yourself mm-hmm. and it was really flavorful so that was a good one so we have that and then we didn't even talk about my mom's sweet potatoes but oh, i know yeah. we've talked about them before well let's just give a quick refresher for anyone who hasn't that is know. the other thing that people come to our house for because my mom's sweet potatoes are like none other. Twyla can probably relate because they're very southern. She only makes them in a, the same cast iron skillet. Oh, yeah, the one that's been around since like. Yeah, never had soap whenever. in it ever. Like, oh, I bet. It's like amazing. It's just sweet potatoes cut thin, butter, brown sugar, and a little water, and you don't stir. Yeah, you just let it sit forever. You let them sit and like the under, they caramelize. You do in the oven? No. Stove top? Yeah, stove top. And they cook kind of for a while, but you can't touch them. You can't stir them because if you do, mush. Mm, Okay. They are the best. Takes about 45 minutes. But you have to do them in like the certain perfect temperature, like medium, medium, low. So good. How do we get the recipe for that? You don't. I just gave it to you. Okay, so (laughs) you basically, it's like a... um, so peel Just, sweet potatoes, yep. cut them thin, not thin, thin, like a potato chip thin, but like yeah. 
let's say between an eighth and a quarter of an inch, right? Yeah, Does yeah, that, that sounds sense? right. Mm-hmm. And because your sweet potatoes are going to be tons of different sizes, mm-hmm. and then you layer them, and as you're layering, so they're them, like circles. They're circles. Okay. They're yeah, like, like discs. Discs. Yeah. yeah. So you, um, it has to be a cast iron skillet. Mm-hmm. And because it's a perfect amount of stick, it's the right amount of stick. Okay. And so you lay them on the bottom and then you put slices of butter in there, brown sugar, more potatoes, slices of butter, brown sugar. And you do it just to the top. You have to have a lid. Okay. And so you put just enough water in there. So you like look at the skillet. It's just enough water. So it's halfway or a little less in the skillet. Okay. And that's because you have to boil them. So first you turn them on high, right? Okay. And you get it. And once that water starts boiling, then you know it's going to cook down with the sugar and the butter mm-hmm. and sort of caramelize everything. And then you turn it to you turn it to um, uh, medium low. What did I say? Medium, medium low? Yeah. Yeah. And then you cover them and they just sit there. For like 45 minutes? Yeah. When you watch them, you can see as they're like getting softer. Well, so. not with a lid on, you can't. Well, you can take it off. You just okay. can't stir it. Don't okay. ever, ever stir it. Okay. But they're cool. They turn black. Some of them are black on the edges. Some of them are, like, they're perfect, though. When you take a bite, like, they're somehow crispy and soft at the same time. I know mm-hmm. that doesn't really make a lot of sense, but that they're killer. It does. But you don't need salt, pepper. You need nothing. It's really? strictly that. Well, it, but Twyla had mentioned maple syrup, which I've never done before, but I guess the sugar and the butter is kind of kinda like a similar kinda thing. Kind of like maple syrup, but without fat. I mean, the maple syrup doesn't right. have, yeah. The yes. butter adds like the fat. Yeah. So I guess you could make them the same way, right? With mm-hmm. maple syrup instead of those two things. I don't know, but they're good. And that's always the first thing to be gone. Mm, it sounds delicious. I it think I good. should just try making it yeah, on my own. You should. Your kids will eat them. Yeah, they're like right. candy. My kids no, they will. Eat crap. My, they're like, Hot dogs. It <laughs> my my daughter just wants just wants ketchup. I'm like ketchup with what? No, just ketchup. That's not a food. No, it's <laughs> that's a condiment. A frosting. It's a condiment. That's, we call that tomato frosting at our house. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, so let's talk briefly about like how do you be a how are you a good um guest at Thanksgiving? Like help. Right? Or at least offer. I hate it when people don't. Me too. And I most likely will say, no, I got it. Because, you know, right. I like to put things in the dishwasher of the way course. I like them. But. Take out the garbage. Just offer. Right. Like, what can I do? What do you need help with? Sit. Right. That's all you have to do. I like I like keeping an eye, eye on the garbage, eye on recycling. Eye on the kids. Eye on the kids. Yes. These yeah. are all good things. Yeah. Just be helpful even if people don't want your help. Right. Just be helpful. Exactly. Or just ask. Because I think 50% of the time people will be like, yeah, can you do this? Which is probably, can oh you take gosh. out the garbage? Or will you wipe this up? Or I just spilled that or whatever. Yeah, or can you get me a drink? Yes. <laughs> can, yes, exactly. Can you get me a drink? You know what I realized? Hmm. I skipped my favorite thing about Thanksgiving. What is it? I Well, it's like the one recipe that I bring places. Mm, it's a, toffee? No. Well, I do make that. No, I have, I printed it off today. <clears throat> Because I usually bring a salad to Thanksgiving. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, my God. I don't know what I just did. Mm. Is the idea of a salad at Thanksgiving <coughs> disgusting to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's really funny because you had sent me a few questions, maybe a little outline about what we we're going to talk about. And the one thing I noticed is that I do like it when people offer to bring salad because it doesn't always get eaten. But we shouldn't just be eating all that crap. So that's right. really good that you bring that. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to tell you this delicious, awesome recipe. Mm. It is a shaved Brussels sprout and bacon salad. Oh, yum. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Like you shave them yourself like oh, on a mandolin? get ready. Oh. I know. You can buy those at Trader Joe's. Okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> on this, re- I got this recipe from my favorite sort of uh, food blog pinch of yum the ones who i say i love their recipes but the descriptions of the recipes are way too long yes but this recipe is the shit it's so good Ooh. so she said don't be tempted by the pre-shaved ones are just never as good because they don't get thin enough i could see that 
though. Did I you mean, take out part of your thumb though? What? Well, that's the thing. It's like pure. I mean, it's so stressful shaving. And they're tiny. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not yeah. like it's cabbage where you can so, like really yeah, get so in there. So I have there. this mandolin, which is basically a super f- fancy. It's not like a minst- wandering <laughs> minstrel. I always think of that. It's like. <laughs> Not the music. Like, no, the not the music. So it's like a sharp as hell, like little slidey thing that where every time you slice something on it super thinly, you're like, please don't get my fingers. Please don't get my fingers. <laughs> that is so true. I know, but it's, they. It, you can make them super thin and then you don't cook them. So they're raw in the salad. Really? Yes. Oh, that sounds good. It is really good. Okay, so, so what do you do okay. once you have them? You've got that. You make this dressing. Let's see. The dressing, it's got lemon, orange, cider vinegar, a shallot, uh, olive oil, salt and pepper. So it's like oh, super, super basic, okay. like kind of vinaigrette-y. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then you do the shaved Brussels sprouts, a cup of almonds, then cooked bacon, like six slices. So you chop that up and a cup of Parmesan. Oh, yum. And then if you want to make it festive, this is my own little addition. Yeah pomegranate seeds oh yum that's kind of make good. it cute you yeah, know and um I like that and you can either do that flavor. yourself or just buy a container of that pre-done because yeah. paint nobody got time for pomegranates yeah i'm with you that's such a pain right so anyway just you like don't cook the brussels sprouts at all you mix it all up it i promise it doesn't smell farty it's really not, no <laughs> it's good it's like and the thing is too because the brussels sprouts are kind of hearty like, it's a salad you can eat as a leftover. Okay. This is all I'm wondering. How many freaking Brussels sprouts do you have to shave in order to fill a bowl? Okay. Like a so one this million? One, this, for this recipe, this is just a one one X. So how many people is yeah, that for? Yeah, what's a serving? Eight to ten? I don't know. I mean. Maybe it, for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Everyone just takes yeah. a scoop, right? right. Okay. So it says four dozen oh Brussels God. sprouts. That is so much mandolin handling. Well, you know what? Someone's got to be the Thanksgiving bitch. I mean, that's like. <laughs> that's true. No, but that's a winner. Like, if you brought that to my. By the way, why haven't you brought that to my house? I don't know, but I will. Okay. Well, you have it's little so kids. Good. So. It's so good. I, I'm going to try it, except for I really don't want to shave those Brussels sprouts. Well, make someone else do it. Make someone else put their little tiny fingers at risk. <laughs> that makes me nervous. Like, <laughs> I don't cut your fingers off. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I think bringing a good, like, a salad, because... Yeah, um, it's always a good addition that no one's thinking of. Right, because everyone needs, totally. like, some real fiber and, you Oh, yeah. Know. Ugh. Yeah, but that would be good second time around, too. Totally. It's delicious. Second meal. Okay, mm-hmm. what's, on your, what's on your leftover sandwich? Um, Whatever kind of bread. So I don't eat bread during the dinner, because yeah. I don't get it. Waste but, of space. Yeah, I totally. 100% agree. But, um, so usually, if that chutney stuff or cranberries, whatever that is, for sure... My mom always made a ham and a turkey, so it depended on which I ate the most of mm-hmm. earlier. So you and switch it. Yeah. And if it's ham, then it's I don't do the cranberries. I do mustard. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And anything that's laying around, like if there's any pickles, because we usually do like olive relish mm-hmm. tray sort of thing. Um, if it's turkey, then definitely cranberries. Definitely a tiny bit of mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. Or gravy. If there's good gravy that's going on there. Um, and then anything that's laying around, like pickles, pickled cauliflower, anything, I just throw it all on there. Most of the people in my family will put mashed potatoes on their sandwich, mm-hmm. but I do not do that. See, I mean, that that's kind of like a maybe for me, I guess. Mm-hmm. But I do, I like the Hawaiian buns or any other sort of squishy roll mm-hmm. with turkey, cranberries, stuffing, for sure. And oh, yeah. then I maybe that's stuffing it. stuffing on there. Oh, yeah. Maybe that that's it. I never do that because I used to be a person that had those separated plates. Like I didn't want anything to touch. So <laughs> wait, as an adult? Um, yeah, kind of through college I think even. We still, my, we still do that at my family stuff through college. I never Sep- liked the corn touching the potatoes, touching the yeah. I can never I got quite decide it. what to put where. I got over it. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Uh, that's probably why it stressed me out too. Not only because it was stealing my birthday, but that all my food was touching. There's yeah, it's no like way one around big it. Big giant heap, <laughs> like covered in gravy, and then top with corn. That's like another thing a lot of my uncles do. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. that's like a Kentucky Fried Chicken thing, isn't it? I like don't a bowl even know. With corn on it. Wait, so just corn? Mm-hmm. Like just canned corn? You yeah, yeah, have yeah. As a side? Oh, we never had that side. That yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's Thanksgiving. Yep, I get it. I don't know. What didn't we cover? I don't know. I think we it, what we're potatoes. thankful for. 
<laughs> oh yeah. What are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? Um, let's see. So many things. I know me too. You know, family, being healthy, kids, friends, all that kind of stuff. Not getting hangovers. Oh yeah. Is that because you don't get you don't drink or because <laughs> No, I've learned in my almost fifty. I'm gonna be fifty. Oh my gosh. Actually, right. I'm 50 right now. Yeah, when this comes out. <laughs> yeah, totally. basically. Yeah, because um, this is one of my off years. My birthday is a week before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, I'm fi I'm uh, thankful that I'm 50. How's that? I'm That's good. I made it this long. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Without having a nervous breakdown. Just kidding. <laughs> At least um, not lately. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, everything. I don't know. I don't have much to complain about, really. I know. I don't either. I don't In have much to things. complain about. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's good. I'm thankful for this podcast. And I'm thankful and for, for you. you. <laughs> I'm thankful for Twyla. <laughs> I'm just thankful, damn it. Me too. Thanksgiving, bitch. Uh, well, I guess with that, thanks for listening. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Yep, enjoy. And have fun cleaning your kitchen. <laughs> or <laughs> <Thanks>. someone else's. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, bitch. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Mess in the Kitchen podcast. We're really impressed that you made it all the way to the end. You can learn more about our show at amessinthekitchen.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. The show is produced by Twyla Day of Matriarch Digital Media. She's got tons of great shows at matriarchdm.com. If you like the show, please rate and review us. It helps new people find the show. And until next time, here's to good enough cooking. Cheers. Cheers.